We know today that the gut microbiota change during pregnancy. We see dramatic shifts of bacteria from first to third trimester in women. These changes are very similar to changes that we see in some diseases, for example, metabolic syndrome. We also see an increase in inflammation, and we think the two are linked. In order to prove that, we use a germ-free model. When we transplant feces from first trimester women and third trimester women into these mice, we see that the mice that receive the third trimester microbiota gain more weight and develop a higher inflammatory response. We think it has to do with the pro-inflammatory microbiota, which help induce slow-grade inflammation, which in turn increase adiposity or fat storage. Until not too long ago, we thought that every change in bacterial communities, what we call dysbiosis, are actually linked to disease. And pregnancy is, to my knowledge, one of the only examples in which the same changes that we see in disease are actually necessary um, to carry out a healthy pregnancy. We're looking at the use of um, probiotics and prebiotics during pregnancy to try and influence uh, or try and maintain these beneficial changes that we see to see if we can actually prevent pregnancy-associated complications. We are also aware that these changes are very important for the offspring, so for the fetus that is born he needs to get this microbiota in order to develop a good immune system. We're actually looking at what happens if we disrupt this gut microbiota during pregnancy, like with the use of antibiotics, and how that impacts the infants later on in life.